Welcome to my weekly market roundup, 17th November 2019. I am Sagan Nandi. I am the designer and developer of Q Trading Systems and Techniques. I used to work in information technology, mostly based in Singapore. I retired several years ago. Now I am living in Thailand. I primarily swing trade stocks and sometimes stock options. You may contact me using my email id tradingprofitably at gmail.com. I share my stock analysis regularly in the public traders forum sagarnandi.com and also on my twitter page sagarnandi. You may also watch my trading videos on the YouTube channel Trading Profitably. All of these are open to the public and you are most welcome to make use of them. Before I begin, let me go through the disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on the systems and techniques I use. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. I am not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. I will have no liability for any investment decision made by the audience. As usual, in today's topics, I will analyze oil and gold using technical charts. They tend to impact related stocks. After that, I will try to identify potential trades using complete 360 degrees analysis. That is trades where the market, sector, industry, fundamental and technical, all the forces are aligned. That was the last slide of my presentation. I'll continue now with the live system. I begin my commodities analysis with oil ETF USO, looking at it using the weekly backdrop chart template and daily hop on or entry chart template. Together, I call this at a glance template because using this single template, you can decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge in only a few seconds. One week ago, price closed at this candle. At that time, I was bullish on oil. Since then, for the first four days of this week, price moved almost sideways. The traffic light candle color was yellow for four days. And then on Friday, price went up. The traffic light candle color became green, bullish. Friday's candle shape is also bullish. What is my view on oil right now? In the weekly chart, price is moving inside a range bound by resistance memory trend line at the top and support memory trend line at the bottom. One week ago, looking at the bullish shape and bullish color candle in the weekly chart and the bullish shape and bullish color candle of that Friday's chart, I thought that price might go up to the upper end of the range in the weekly as well as in the daily chart and I thought that might give a quick profitable swing long trade. This week price closed higher than previous week. However, it didn't move up as much as I expected. Now oil is right in the middle of the range in the weekly chart. This is not the optimal location to take a long trade. The optimal location to take a long trade in an instrument that is moving sideways will be to buy it at the lower end of the range. Considering that, I would exit the 
USO long position that I suggested one week ago. I would exit that on this Friday with small profit and wait for a more suitable entry. Probably either at the lower end of the range or at the higher end of the range. I will avoid taking any new swing trade in oil right now. Gold ETF GLD using the weekly daily at a glance template. One week ago when price dropped heavily, at that time the daily closed near the lower boundary. Looking at that, I analyzed gold to be bearish but oversold, extended to the downside and suggested avoiding taking any new short trade. Instead, I suggested if price could go up little bit and then come down, giving a magenta color daily candle that could give a trend following swing short trade opportunity. That didn't happen. Price did go up little bit and on Friday it declined little bit also. However, it didn't give any daily magenta flow color candle. Therefore, we didn't have any go with flow trend following short trade setup in gold. Now, price is close to the lower boundary level. Even if gold drops next week and gives us a magenta color candle, that will be too close to the lower boundary lines to take a short trade in gold. You may wait for the next low risk shorting opportunity or buying opportunity as the case may be instead of hurrying into a trade in gold right now. After commodities analysis, I analyze the market. This is the highest level of the 360 degrees analysis. The objective is to find out if the market is bullish. If bullish, then take only long trades. And if the market is bearish, then look for only short trades using stocks. By doing that, you are aligning the market level force with your trades. One week ago in the previous market roundup, I analyzed the market to be bullish but overbought and suggested avoiding taking any new long trade, especially in stocks that were technically overbought or fundamentally overvalued. What is my market view this week? Let me start with the S&P 500 ETF SPY. It made a new all-time high this week. This week price went up further. The weekly candle color and shape both are clearly bullish. The weekly is now overbought for three successive weeks. In the daily chart, after displaying the headwind reversal signal, price went up almost in a straight line. This week, for the first four days, price moved practically sideways. The traffic light candle color was neutral yellow. Then on Friday, price jumped up, ended with a bullish shape and bullish color candle. In the daily, price is now overbought for many days. If last week I analyzed the market to be bullish and overbought, this week the analysis has to be bullish and even more overbought. Because the market is clearly bullish, you may avoid taking any short trade. At the same time, it is overbought, therefore you may be cautious in taking long trades, especially in stocks that are technically overbought or fundamentally overvalued. NASDAQ ETF QQQ. This chart is very similar to that of SPY. QQQ also made a new all-time high. 
weekly candle color and shape both are bullish in the daily for the first four days of the week price moved sideways and then on friday it kept up closed with a bullish shape bullish color candle price is overbought in the weekly chart for four weeks and in the daily chart it is overbought for many days same conclusion as spy clearly bullish and overbought dow jones industrial average etf dia again a similar picture it closed at a new all-time high weekly backdrop color and shape both are bullish in the daily for the first four days daily candle color was neutral on friday it jumped up ending with a bullish color bullish shape candle weekly is overbought for three weeks daily is overbought for many days again bullish but very overbought Russell 2000 ETF IWM this was the worst performing of the four market ETFs that is continuing the relative performance continues to till down showing it is underperforming the market this week ended with an indecisive shape candle the candle color is remaining bullish price dropped little bit from previous week you can know that from the volume bar being in red color in the daily chart after displaying the bearish headwind possible reversal signal price failed to go up it is effectively moving sideways this is the weakest of the four market etfs if the market starts to go down you may look for a short trade in iwm however there is a memory support line nearby therefore instead of shorting iwm you might look into shorting opportunity in one of the small cap stocks if the market goes down next week market is bullish and overbought now i study the next level of the 360 degrees analysis to look for potential buy setups the next level is the sector level i study one month sector performance here all the 11 sectors are analyzed across three review periods the red bars present this week's performance the green bars performance of the previous week and the blue bars performance of two weeks before that together the bars give one month of performance any bar to the right of the zero line shows the sector went up any bar to the left of the zero line shows the sector went down this week five of the sectors went up and six went down that is not showing the bullishness that you saw from the market etf study isn't it that is the value of analyzing not only the market but also the sector level and also the industry level after that to decide whether you really want to buy or you want to pause and if you want to buy where do you want to buy this week overall the sectors are not bullish because five went up and six went down on the other hand in the previous week eight sectors went up and three went down therefore the previous week was more bullish than this week as we can see from the sector analysis also if you look at the three best performing sectors this week they are healthcare real estate and utilities even the next one is consumer staples all these four best performing sectors this week they are in defensive areas whereas the four worst performing ones energy 
materials, communication services, financials. They are mostly in non-defensive areas. That is also showing that under the hood, though the ETFs are going up, the market is not as bullish as it appears. Even more reason to avoid buying new stocks, especially stocks that are overbought or overvalued. Using the 360 degrees approach, if you at all wanted to buy a new stock, you would look for an opportunity in one of the strongest sectors. How the sectors are rotating is clear from the sector scorecard and heat map here. All the 11 sectors are scored across 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over 10 day, 5 day, etc. Cyan represents strength, magenta represents weakness. Looking at the 5 day period, you can see healthcare and real estate are strongest, energy materials are the weakest. If you are looking for a buy setup, you could look for that in healthcare or real estate. In fact, I shared a buy setup in healthcare sector in my public traders forum. Let me review that post. This is my traders forum, sagarnandi.com. I regularly share stock and market analysis for the USA market as well as in the India market. The last post I shared in the USA market was on Centin CNC. This was the post I shared it 10 days ago on 7th November. As usual, I shared the analysis snapshots as of that time not after knowing the result. This is how the 360 degrees analysis looked like on that day. Looking at the one day period, I could see that managed healthcare, CNC's industry was strengthening. The color was changing from magenta to cyan. Then I looked at the stock's fundamental scorecard. As of that time, 9 of the PR stocks, all of the PR stocks of Centin were up. No stock declined. The stock had excellent valuation, undervalued stock shown by the cyan color in the valuation scores. And the stock had Excellent earnings quality, again cyan color in earnings quality. The quarterly EPS growth and annual EPS growth showed that the stock had continuous earnings growth. And the revenue growth was also there as seen from the quarterly and annual revenue growth percentages. How did the chart look at that time in the weekly after displaying the very unique headwind reversal signal price was going up as of that time the weekly backdrop candle color and shape both were bullish in the daily price went up made a higher high came down little bit and it was starting to go up again in the post, I suggested that if the daily ended with a cyan color candle, that would give a go with flow trend following long trade setup in Centin. That was my technical analysis and the stock was fundamentally strong. The industry was also strengthening. This is what would give a 360 degrees buying opportunity if the daily candle indeed turned cyan by the close of the day. How did the setup work out? Let me look at CNC using live charts now. CNC as of 
this Friday's market close. I suggested the buying opportunity on this day, 7th November. That day indeed ended with a cyan flow color candle giving a going flow trend following long trade setup. After that price has gone up, the entry price would be at the close of my suggested day's candle. Stop would be just below recent low. As price went up and hit this watermark pivot level, more than risk distance was covered and following my guideline, you might book at least partial profit. Would you book full profit or partial profit? For that also I use clear guideline. If the technicals, fundamentals and the industry strength continues to be bullish, then I prefer not to close full position. I close partial position with discipline, book some profit and try to let profit run on the remaining position. With a trailing stop set in a way that the trade is almost guaranteed risk free from now onwards. That is how I entered the trade using real time analysis and also exited the trade partial position with discipline. Healthcare is the best performing sector and using real time sector industry fundamental and technical analysis, I could take a trade in a healthcare stock CNC probably right in time, little bit ahead of others probably using real time data. And then also book profit with discipline. That was a trend following trend. I take trend following as well as trend reversal trades using unambiguous trade setups. You may learn about these trade setups from the books. I have put all the books under this book category in my forum. Recently, I took a profitable trend reversing swing trade. Let me analyze that. I shared that in my Twitter forum on November 8th on the stock Grub, GRUB. This is how the chart looked like when I shared the post in Twitter. As of 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time that time, I noticed that the weekly came to this very long term watermark pivot support level and stopped there. In the daily, it had a sharp drop, hit that weekly pivot support level and then it was starting to go up. Right at the time when I shared the chart, it displayed the bull release signal. Using the unambiguous checklist that I have, I could see a box come bound straight setup in grab at that time. That is why I shared the chart. How did the stock end up? Let me look at grab using live charts as of today. Grab as of Friday's close. I suggested the box come bounce long setup on this day. I suggested the long setup in the early morning session that day. Since then price has nicely gone up. It has covered more than the risk distance. Therefore, following my guideline, you could book profit. Would you book partial profit or full profit. Again I use the same criteria if the industry technical fundamental everything is strong I like to hold on to partial position trying to let profit run. However that was not true for graph. Technically it is looking okay however its industry is not strong and fundamentally also the stock is not strong relative to its peers. Therefore, in this case, you would certainly book partial profit. You could also book full profit 
and not hold on to partial position. Let me summarize. My market outlook is bullish. It was bullish one week ago also. This week it became even more bullish in terms of the ETFs movement. It was overbought one week ago and this week it became even more overbought. Could you still try to buy stocks? You could. However, I suggest you avoid buying stocks that are technically overbought or fundamentally overvalued. Market level is bullish. What about the sector level? Overall, the sector is balanced. Almost equal number of sectors went up and went down. Therefore, it is neither bullish nor bearish. Compared to one week ago, it weakened. Therefore, though looking at the ETFs, you might feel more bullish than one week ago. Looking at the sectors, you will probably fine tune that understanding and you will see that the market is not as bullish as one week ago. That is also clearer from the fact that the four best performing sectors are all in defensive areas, not non-defensive areas. That is not telling about strong bullish nature of the market. You may avoid taking new long positions, again especially in stocks that are technically overbought or fundamentally overvalued. At the same time, the two trade ideas that I shared CNC in healthcare and Grab, they illustrate that whatever be the market condition, using a disciplined approach and aligning forces from multiple levels, market level, sector industry, fundamental and technical level, you can almost always find low risk, high probability trading opportunities. Let me Make one note, I used to use the site superiorprofit.co due to some technical reasons we had to shut it down. Instead of referring to superiorprofit.co, you may refer to sagarnandi.com to look at my trade analysis and also to access the books, installation instructions, etc. And for contacting me, instead of using sagar at superiorprofit.co, you may use my personal email tradingprofitably at gmail.com. That is all that I plan to share in today's session. Thank you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in my next session. Have a great week and trade profitably.